A key ruling in the case of the biggest leak of government secrets in U.S. history, a military judge has refused to dismiss the most serious charge against Army Private Bradley Manning. He's accused of aiding the enemy when he released classified information to the website WikiLeaks. Manning faces life in prison if convicted. Joining us is the author of Private, the first major biography of Bradley Manning. Denver Nix, thank you for joining us. Thanks, it's great to be here. First off, what possessed a 21-year-old private to release this kind of information? Uh, well, that's, that's sort of the million dollar question, certainly. Um, at this point, anybody who suggests that Bradley Manning leaked government secrets maliciously is either stupid or not paying attention. It's clear from his own words that uh, he wanted to make the world a better place, essentially, that he thought there was too much information being kept from the people of the United States and the world and, and that uh, he would take it upon himself to release what amounted to about three quarters of a million secret documents uh, onto the internet readable to the American public and people all over the world. Why do you think it was important for him to, to, to make such a statement? I mean, it's a pretty grand statement to do this. Right. Well, I think that he, uh, he started thinking about this, it's, it's evident, uh, shortly after he arrived in Iraq. Um, and it's also, it also seems clear from my research that he became troubled by the things he was seeing uh, for in example, Iraq. Like? Well, for example, um, one of the, the most famous incidents is something he mentions in chat logs with Adrian Lamo, where um, he was charged with investigating an incident in which there, wa there were uh, so there was uh, a, a document being circulated that Manning was supposed to look into to find out what it was that these uh, Iraqi insurgents were were circulating what the document was about. He looked into it with a translator and found that it was just a scholarly critique of corruption in the Iraqi government. Uh, he says he took that information to a superior. The superior said, uh, forget about it, we don't want to hear that. Help them find more detainees. Essentially blew him off and he felt, it seems, that that was a serious case in which somebody was simply trying to circulate a, a good, honest, scholarly document in a free society, an ostensibly free society. Uh, and was being stonewalled by the Iraqi authorities and uh, ultimately by the American military. Well, you ultimately got family members, friends, trusted people mm -hmm. in the Manning circle to talk to you. How, how did you gain their trust? Uh, well, by, uh, by expressing earnest interest. I mean, I'm interested in the story. and. Uh, it's, it's, it's a hugely important story, and Bradley Manning is a hugely important person now in our history as a country. Uh, I, I think it's important and express that to people. Do, do you think that the charges, or did it surprise you that the judge dismissed uh, the defense motions today? Um, I can't say I was surprised by it. Um, I will say, however, that the fact that he was charged with aiding the enemy to begin with is a bit surprising. Um, the implications of Bradley Manning being charged with aiding the enemy are pretty serious. He's charged with aiding the enemy, remember, for giving, uh, for allegedly giving secret documents to an organization that was going to publish them on the internet, which he ostensibly knew Al-Qaeda could access. That's, that's the, the origin of that charge, aiding the enemy. Uh, well, Thousands of soldiers have blogs. Uh, thousands of soldiers talk to journalists every day. Uh, Lord knows, certainly nearly all soldiers have a Facebook account. Um, that information is accessible uh, on the internet and accessible to the enemy. So the fact that by giving information to WikiLeaks, uh, a, an organization that I think it's clear, they're certainly more like a journalist than source. Um, that that constitutes aid in the enemy uh, would represent, if he's convicted of that, it would represent a serious departure from legal and cultural norms in this country. And Julian Assange, essentially the man he gave the information to, has, has he mentioned Bradley Manning at any stage? Have you been following what's Well, Julian on? Assange has not confirmed that Bradley Manning is his source. Um, he, as a matter of policy, WikiLeaks doesn't discuss that sort of thing. Um, he has 
spoken out in support of Bradley Manning publicly, and uh, WikiLeaks donated a little bit of money to his defense fund, but they haven't confirmed that he's a source of the documents. Wow. Well, Denver next. It is a, an interesting read, I'm sure. As you said, he is definitely part of American history at this point That's in right. time. Thanks for joining us. Thanks a lot. The book is called Private Bradley Manning, WikiLeaks, and the Biggest Exposure of Official Secrets in American History.